Travel to see more is a channel to share the most beautiful parts of my country, as well as the stories of my journeys and around the world that needs to be told. Join me, Gideon, or Mr. G, or OMG, for stories in the Karoe, Kalahari, Namakoland, Free State, and the mountains of the world. Have joy and remember, as Eva said, no guts, no glory. Onaklepai is a small town on the west coast of South Africa. And it's a coastal town and one of the most isolated coastal towns there are. There's no ATMs, there's no fuel stations. There's a few houses, about 300 to 400 people staying there. And we decided that we can visit Onaklebai. Why not? In the past, only the people with the Land Rovers and the tough people that actually visited but we decided we can going to visit it and have a look what it is. We've got a choice of three routes to visit on the Klebai. The one is via the Skullpad National Park. The second one is on the way to Garis. You take a, the tar route, a little bit of tar route, about 30 k's, and then you're on your way to on the Klebai. And we decided that we're going to pass the tar route and we're going to take the gravel route just before Garis and take all the way the gravel road to Honoklebai. The reason is there we will be able to see the most beautiful flowers and the most amount of flowers and it's the most adventure road of them all. But still a nice route to travel. And here we go. On the road, on the way to Honoklebai. most logical route to take is either the tar route, the pit of the tar route, or even the one, the shortest one is via the Skullpad National Park. But we heard from one of the guys in the caravan park that he traveled it the day before and it was quite a lot of corrugated on the road. And we decided, no, we're gonna go for the longer route and we're gonna enjoy the longer route and we're gonna have a look what we can see on the longer route. Have a look at the flowers. Stop at every flower and this. Every now and then we saw a house next to the road, a farmhouse. And the people in this vicinity, they actually farming with goats and with sheep. And that is the main income of the farmers here, goat and sheep farming. The gravel road were not that bad. They actually did maintain it the day before and we had quite a nice drive on the road. As we were traveling, we saw these rocks, big rocks that's hanging on the fence, on the poles. And we wonder why it is. Somebody told me that it's quite common in the Makwaland and they use it on the new fence after digging the holes and putting the poles of the fence in it for it to go deeper into the hole. Interesting fact. Honoklep Bay in English, if the people don't understand Afrikaans, is hond, is dark, and klep is rock. So it's dark rock bay. Why is it dark rock bay? Honoklep Bay, 
because there's a big rock in front of the police station that's got a form of a dog's head. And that's why the bay, whenever the people arrived here, they saw this rock and they saw that it was in the form of a dog's head, the bay. And that's why they call it Honekle Bay. Top and Kreef is one of two restaurants in the vicinity next to Sam's restaurant. And we decided on Top and Kreef and when we sat down and we had something to drink and a little something to eat, we read the story of how the restaurant and the owner actually got together. If you look in the, in the sea, you will see a cement structure in the sea and that were the old ice house where they put all the ice in because this was uh, a bay where the people did fishing and then they brought all the fish in and they pack it at the factory and then they ship it out to the inland part of the country. For quite a few years it's actually abandoned and there's no more fishing here and the whole town is actually becoming a ghost town. Just a few people here, a little bit of attraction, and just to enjoy it. You either come to Honekle Bay because you've got a property here, or because you love it, or because of curiosity. We've never been here, and we would like to investigate every new town and see what it's like. Enjoy. Right in front of the police station, we saw the rock of the dog's head, but one of the ears actually got missing and we heard that somebody stole it. As we were on our way, we stopped quite frequently at small little flowers next to the road and whenever we stopped, we actually realized how many flowers there were and we just enjoy it, having a look, taking pictures and enjoy every flower, every part of the country that we are seeing. The story of Honekle Bay were also that there were a big harbor there for exporting copper, but since Port Norlith became a harbor, it were closer from Okip and Nababib for the copper to be transported to Port Norlith, and then the harbour got banded.
and we are back to the N7, to the road to Kamiskroen. But we did not found the flower, the Medestert. We have decided that we will ask Philip at the caravan park and have a look. Maybe we can find it somewhere else. So it's on our way to Kamiskroen and tonight we can have a nice braai and we can have a chat about the wonderful things we saw today. What a sight. What a day. First, we're going to stop at Keuvreer, the coffee shop. And we can have something to drink and to eat. And what a place. I would recommend it to anybody. Stop and have a look at it and get something to drink and Hoor, support Gerald. the local people. Met? That night, the wind started blowing. And let me tell you, the people say, in Kamiskroen, that's where the wind is made. But we enjoyed it. That is something for today. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Yes, in the next episode, we found it. Wow.